Hello everybody, welcome to episode 36 of the Tamagotchi Reconnection series here. So we have one of our Tamas here, so let's look at this one currently. Um, I'm saying look, let's look at this one because, uh, what is it? The other one needs its battery replaced, and we will be replacing its battery in just a second. But let's check out the shop though, and look through all the cool items here. Anything cool? Anything screaming our name? Do we already have the RC car in this one? I don't know if we have the RC car type 2. Woo! Uh, we don't actually have the RC car type 2, so let's buy that item. Whoop! Okay. Now we're doing this first because I just wanted to get whatever stuff out of the way, so why not? And, and, because what is it, the other device will be behind a bit because of it not having its battery in for a while. Well, it has a battery in it, it's just the battery's dead, and you know the fun part about Tamagotchi batteries are? or when the connection apparently dies on this version, is it stays on the screen. It's been six hours. Why do you not just play like a normal device? It's like, ah. Uh. I'll throw away the battery though, cause that's a demo battery inside it. But uh, it's a fun little demo battery, isn't it? Surprisingly, th these uh, demo batteries in both of them lasted a bit. This one's already been replaced. It got replaced when I went on vacation. But the uh, other one, surprisingly, finally died so this is probably the longest i've actually had demo batteries going for because usually they die in like a week so if you ever buy a bandai device and your battery dies in a week don't be mad about that that's just how crappy of batteries they kind of use it's like one of those moments where you're like Ugh. which is weird because it's like, like uh what's that it's an issue with modern devices instead of older devices so I've opened up older Tamas, and they have, like, just an actual main brand battery in there, which is insane to think about that. That means, like, because Bandai uh, partnered up with whatever company at the time. It's like, come on, y'all. Y'all paid for this battery, but not, like, th another battery. Now, this one also has a used battery, and technically, inside it, because, uh, this one took the battery from the, who what was it? The Katai, so... Or did that one take the... It might have taken the Kai battery, actually, not the Katai. Yeah, because this one has the Katai battery. I tried replacing it earlier. And the battery put into it died immediately. So I was like, ugh. So I actually had to go out and buy new batteries. Which is a giant pain in the butt. I'm not gonna lie. So we actually have some LR44... Or not LR44s, uh... 2032s. I need to buy LR44s, but they didn't have them any, any at the store, so... I would have bought way more batteries. I usually, uh, at this time of year, I usually do buy a bunch of batteries. I don't, do I have spare LR44s over here? I might have already gone through them. Yeah, I probably already went through them. Yeah, I already went through my LR44s. <laughs> it's been a while since I've owned any, so... That probably also doesn't help. I have a bunch of... I do have cr 2032 somewhere as well. Which, those are used for the Tamagotchi Game Boy game. It's a... It's like a really random little battery type. Though, to be honest, I'm okay with that. Because I love the uh, Tamagotchi Game Boy game. The third one, because that's what the third one uses. The other two are just basic Game Boy cartridges. And, like, you can't really complain about them, because... They just burn off the basic Game Boy style. Which, you have to replace those two at some point, but, uh... They don't go as quickly, usually. So there we go, there's our battery. We'll close up the knife. There goes knife coon. And let's pop out the battery in this thing. And immediately go throw it away after the fact. Well, not immediately throw it away, but... Unscrew! Pop this out. Yeah, I tried swapping out batteries, because I was like, oh, I don't have... Whatever. Didn't work out well. I tried. I forgot only one of my things had a fancy battery inside it. Good news is we didn't lose any of the data because since it is one of those modern devices, it actually does have save states in them. Not all modern devices are like this. The nanobs don't actually have saves in them. So if you buy a nano and expect it to save, don't. <laughs> those don't very much have saves. These ones do though. So you want to go here, click download. And there's our boy! Let's see where he last left off at. 
but first let's get some... Ah, why is it being all weird? Okay. Let's go play a game with him, though. So let's do a game of hitting, because quickest game, easiest way to probably get him out of the little thing he's needing. So let's get this L out of the way. I feel like I need more better lighting. Okay, no, I don't. It's all doing good. It's just lights reflecting back into my eyes for some weird reason, so it's like, ooh. So, yeah, we're having fun with this setup today. No! Ah, okay. <laughs> Everything's going good, though. This battery will be in this device for, like, a week, and then I'm going to have to take it out. <laughs> and then, because what is it? Oh, it hits old stage, and then we'll have the one more stage after it. And then the battery will be, like, popped out. And be reused many times over, because these batteries take a while to die. Like, I'm just curious where Bandai gets their weird b uh, bad batch ones, because it's like... It's like, man, they usually don't... This is probably the one time where it did last a while, but usually these, uh, the ones they include in their things don't last. I think my favorite example was the uh, DMX, where that thing died in literally a day. So let's, let's see how far back you are. So it, it went to its last save point, which was at 11, which uh, was right after the shopkeeper. So so it shaved, uh, saved after the shopkeep. So a bit of a pain there, but uh, I guess we'll adjust time in just a minute. Or I guess we can do it now, to be honest. Uh, let's check out the shop. The, oh, why did I clean the thing? Check out the shop, though. We got shurikens! Do we have shurikens already? Nope, but we'll buy shurikens. I want those. Is that literally all they had in there? Okay, let's use the shuriken, though. Sorry, I'm like, ooh, shurikens. Or, as they call them in this device, darts. They're not darts. They, those are exactly ninja stars, or shurikens, as they call them. So, let's use them. Look at that go. Look at that weird animation. Do I get to keep those, or like, is that just like a one-use item randomly? Yep, that's a one-use item. That is the most random one-use item. That's great. Uh, let's check out the other. I want to try the magic lamp. Or no, actually, never mind. I'll keep off with not using it currently. But uh, so we'll hold on to these two currently. They are doing pretty well. We're going to adjust the time though, because I do actually kind of want these guys on a sort of similar time basis. Sad part is this one's gonna be losing Evo time. So that means this one will take, like, what was it, seven hours, or was it... So this one's going to be, like, six or seven hours behind. And I think the evolution clock does actually tick down while they're sleeping. I don't know if it does or not in this device. Because this is still a very new device. I don't know if the Evo clock goes. I know the timing is still, like, very proper on these devices, but I forget if the Evo clock actually goes while they're sleeping. So I'm like, let's hold off or whatever. I'm waiting for it to like re uh, reach the, the zero on this or whatever. Waiting for it to reach 954. 9.54. And I put these timers like two hours behind me, so that is a fun little fact I do. I don't know if people really care about that or not, but uh, I purposely put my Thomas hours behind me so that they wake up on time with me. So one of those little fun things you can do. Currently 824, but our Thomas are doing pretty well. We still haven't saw the uh, we haven't seen the marriage lady today, so not uh, too much going on. We'll see her tomorrow. We'll be rejecting her tomorrow, which is going to be so crazy to me. Rejecting her offer because we are wanting to marry these two together. Yeah, this one's going to be behind by a little bit, so so expect this one to be a little bit behind. Not too much, but that is pretty good though. And that was pretty much it for today's episode, because not much is going on, we didn't get many items. This one kind of got stuck in a weird delay, so didn't get much fun out of this one. So that's kind of sad there. Went and bought some new batteries, uh, did some bit of working or whatever, and that's pretty much it. Uh, was it? Went on Zenin earlier today to buy some more VPET cases, because they announced another batch or whatever. 
because I was going to buy more last time, but the, what was it, when they first released their Digimon V pet cases, someone offered me a, was it, rare video game that I was going for, which was Garo Mark of the Wolves, and I was like, sorry, I'm buying this item instead, and so I only bought one case at the time, because I was very excited for Mark of the Wolves. It happens, but I am got another one, and I also got their Pendulum cases, because I apparently did not do that yet, so... I'm excited, because that means in September, October time, we'll get one more case. I did actually order one of their Digimon cases, so we will actually be seeing one of their Digimon cases, and I will be doing a review of that when that does come by. So, I'll be excited about that. We'll actually be on the Digimon series at that point, too, so it actually kind of works out timing-wise. So I'll at least have one of the cases around. And that's pretty much it. I have, don't have much to say currently. I don't know, today's been a really simple day, because with one of them out of the league, that means it was all dependent on one device for a bit of time there, and that kind of just limits the capabilities of what goes on. So, we are kind of limited, and there was not really many items in the shop today, as you saw, so. Weird day, I know, so. Thank y'all for watching, and we will see you next time, so, bye, and, um, uh, that's pretty much it, I guess. Be going to make post this video and then go make some beat em on things probably. Because I did one earlier. Ooh. Because if you watch my beat em on videos, I did a let's build of this cool dude. That's not even posted up yet, so there's a little sneak peek at a upcoming video. I'll get really into the details of this gimmick here. It's actually really cool. I don't know if many people are interested in those videos, but I figured I might as well shout them out because why not? Get more people into beat em on. I love beat em on, so why not? But that's pretty much it, so thank y'all for watching. See you next time. Bye. Whoop!